What's up everybody? I'm John Rone from the Rone Boys and today we are gonna do a catch clean and cook video for y'all. Started a week or so ago, a couple weeks ago and we did the catch and then we came back the next day to the clean and the cook. So you're gonna see all parts of that coming up in this video. We appreciate you following along and watching. Hey, we just noticed also 70% of you watching this video are not subscribers. Helps us out guys. Hit that little subscribe button. We appreciate it. Hey, enjoy the video. Good morning, everyone. We are off on another adventure. I figured we'd touch base with you while it's still dark out because, dang it, it's still dark out. It is uh, about five o'clock now. We got we got out of the house at four thirty. We are heading to Ocean City again. We are gonna target some tog today, and we have a limited bait supply. We, luckily, I have some sand fleas in my freezer from last trip, so I have a little Ziploc bag. We're working with that and frozen shrimp I picked up at Giant, the supermarket. Or shrimp or sand fleas, which do tog prefer? That will be what we're gonna find out today. All right, that's right, we're here, day after Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody. Brooks is ready, he's got the boat ready, launched. We're looking good, sun's up. How we feeling? Good. Good, he got a good thumbs up from the wild, exciting bee. A little more active and crazy than Chase, I guess, huh? Let's get this baby started. Chilly. She cranks right up that Honda baby, love it. Our warm up for a little bit and we're good to go. Underway. We're here. A little rough at the uh, wall over there, the west wall. So we came out here to the point of the jetty. And we're going to give this a work. It's rough out here. What? You're saying it's not rough out here. Look at those. Well, you got some breakers coming in for sure right out there. But look, we're in this pocket. We're in this little pocket. We're going to drop down. We got our new tsunami. Got the tsunami slim wave right here, baby. Look at that bad boy. We're going to give it a try. This rod is the rod that um, John Skinner was using on his videos and in his description. I found it. So this is why we always put out what, what you guys use in the descriptions because it really helps everybody buy products, right? And it's a cool white rod. I'm hoping it films a lot better and you guys can see the rod tip. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna start dropping. We're fishing in 20 foot of water this far off the rocks. You guys are using um, frozen uh, sand fleas right now. I have them from like a month ago or two weeks ago. I don't know when I was here last. But we're using frozen sand fleas and I brought some shrimp in case we run out of sand fleas. Water temperature is 43.7. So we'll see if that's too cold for these fish to bite. I have no idea. Check this out, guys. And he's like, oh, he's talking to me. Let's check this out. We came about three and a half miles offshore with the fog and everything. You can't see more than 200 yards. <laughs> this is crazy. It's only been four hours. Finally got a bite. Two bites. Four hours. It's been rough. You say it would be an aggressive bite? It would be a huge stretch. Got him. Got him. Yes. Finally got something. Small one. Hey, but we caught a fish. Who cares? We caught a fish. Hey, let's get these, let's get your buddies uh, biting. What do you think? All right. He was the one messing with me. One to tog. Four and a half hours later. There's a hole in his. Look at the bottom of his. Oh, man, look at that. Yeah, he must have gotten caught or something. Got a hole down there, but. Oh my 
my gosh, he's so close to 16 inches. <laughs> All right. 15 and three quarter, why don't you get out of here, bud? Thanks for letting me catch you, huh? All right. Yeah, we got one. All right, we got one. Hey, with Tog, one bite can trigger more fish to bite. So we'll see if that works. I don't know. What was that bite? Dude, that was a fish for sure. Okay, you, st okay, you still got him on there. Let me get my line out of the water. Okay, so you're gonna have to give him slack for sure. So you're gonna have to let the drag off. Oh, see if he'll just get out, just give him a little bit of slack. He's definitely, cause you're gonna have to give him slack, see if he'll run out of there. Let me, you wanna try it? Or you wanna get it? Just hit your bail, hit your bail. Here, watch out. There you go, get him, get him, get him. You got him, go over here. Good, go towards the back. Nice one, there you go. Atta boy. Hey, good one, dude. All right, so we got another. Brooks got one. Had him. He had him in the rocks. Come on back here, buddy. This little guy had him in the rocks, stuck there. That's pretty much two bites, two fish all day. Here, we can put down here. One, two, three. Awesome. All right, see ya. Now we're torn. We catch one fish. Do we move? Because it's been so slow. We're like, catch one, move. Catch one, move. He wants it. Depends if he's gonna get it. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh, if this is a fish, oh my gosh. All right, just hooked up. Oh my gosh. Get, oh God, get him up fast. Get him up fast. Yes, we have. Yes, that might be my PB. That might be my PB tog right there. What a stud. I always say that. What a stud. I'm not even not hooked that well. He was, he was picking at his, Brooke said he was barely hooked. Don't let him jump out of your hands. All right, let's see what we got. 19 incher? Yeah. What? Yeah. 18 and a half, or is that over? Where's that? You're a, yeah, yeah. 18 and a half incher. Wow. Here, look at that bad boy. 18 and a half inch tog, 18 and three quarters. My biggest PB tog just pulled him up. We've only caught three fish. This is the third all day. Basically, three bites, three fish. It's been nuts and very hard. But look, we're taking one home with us because this, this is a beaut right here. Any bigger 20, we would have let it go. But 18 and a half, we're gonna take it home, have some fillets. But awesome, awesome, awesome. Thanks for letting me catch you, buddy. There we go. Hey, guys. All right. So B was on the B was on the uh, other side of the boat. Just got another guy in here. Probably another little 13 incher, 14 incher. So nothing crazy, but. Uh, Nice little fish right there for sure. What is that, the four? Four of them total? Four fish. The way the day was starting, that's not bad. I'll take it. So if you're tog fishing, you can see the importance of having these rigs tied up ahead of time because it's ridiculous how many times you're going to get caught in these rocks having to go after these fish. We just broke this one off, and I think Brooks is caught up again. So you just got to have them rerun and just break them off if you can't get them off get back to fishing. I mean, it's the only thing we can do. But I come with them pre-tied, just like that. Swivel, tie the braid right to it, hook, and then I just put my uh, dropper loop on the, or my loop on the bottom. Tie my weight to it, put it through. Any fish. Go. Yeah, so we got a GoPro, we got an action camera down in the, in the bay here lost one. I had rigged it up to film underwater and the case came open. It fell out right when I was bringing it up out of the water too so I saw it. It was like a dagger.
And we're done, guys. We're done. I, I couldn't hear you, and they couldn't hear you. We're done. Whoa, we're done for the day. And uh, yep. So got some good footage. We ended up catching some fish. Uh, it, it was. We, we didn't catch a lot of fish. How many fish did we catch? About seven. Seven fish. How many keepers? One. How big was it? Eighteen. 18 and a half inches. That's right, so we got one keeper in the boat, 18 and a half, pretty much 19 inches. My biggest, oh, my biggest tog, PB. So that's huge. I guess it ties my record PB, 19. I don't think I had a 19. Either way, who cares? Awesome day on the water because it was a day on the water and it was frustrating. Brooks was frustrated sometimes because we weren't catching a lot of fish and that's hard with kids. You gotta find a way to keep them entertained. I let them play the iPhone just a little bit, just to, recharge and reboot kid style right so um as usual we appreciate you guys following along it was a fun little tog trip last one of the year so we're done for tog fishing for 2019 caught some fish buddy i didn't think we were gonna catch anything how long did it take us to catch a fish we didn't catch our first fish till two o'clock so it was five and a half hours it's a long time to go shut out so we weren't sure what to do. We just, what do we do? We waited it out, right? It is 5.04 right now. It's 5.04 right now. We're off the water. That's right. My phone's ringing. I got to get that. So we'll continue this at a later at a later time. You know, we appreciate you. Let's see if I actually have to get it. Yeah, I got to get it. I'm going to get it. What's up, fam? We're doing a little catch and cook tonight. And tonight we're just going to fillet those for you. But I want to show you. Um, how to tell the difference between a male and a female tog if you're out fishing. Okay guys, so Brooks guessed the first one. So here's the female and here's a male with your toe tog or your tog or your toe tog, however you want to say it. The big differences in these fish for male and female is first one Brooks guessed was the hump on the head. The male has a little hump on his head here, a little more pronounced rounded head. The female has a more slim line, no hump. It's not the lips, it's not the teeth. Also, one third thing that he didn't, we didn't talk about is they have a white patch, more of a white patch on their chin, typically. Like oh, this oh, really oh. pronounced white chin. That's chin. bigger than Hold that on. one. You're right, you're right. So the uh, hump on the head. And then also, if you look at these fish, you look at their lateral line. The male has a lateral line that comes through here. It's a little more pronounced and white than the female, whose is more blended. You can see it's blended throughout here. So those are your three things, guys, for to tog. Knowing the difference of the fish, so if you want to throw back the females, things like that. So there you go, guys. Hey guys, when you are filleting a to tog, these are some super slimy fish. Keep a paper towel handy. And honestly, I mean, I've got a professional cutting board here. This is so full of slime that it's crazy. Take, take a paper towel, double it over, lay it down on your cutting board. Pick your fish up, take that fish and put it on the cutting board. And I still would have a paper towel handy, ready to hold this fish, okay? Take this fish, and we're just gonna make that normal cut. These fish have very hard heads, so there's not much meat up here in the head. All right, so cut that fish down. And we're gonna take your knife, just the tip, and run it right inside. Okay, so we're gonna come and we're gonna find that backbone for you. Punch through and just down along the backbone the rest of the way. Okay, and then we're gonna just peel this meat off. Um, you should hear it. Good sharp knife, guys. That is the key. Up around the ribs. Just put a little pressure on the fillet and go, take your time. Don't be afraid to fillet a couple fish. You feel like you mess them up, just take your time and go slow. That's all you can do. Okay, now where we cut out down here, we're gonna do the same thing. I these are bloody fish. Why are they bloody? I said they, I noticed they were really good. But they're not once you actually get them filleted. Watch. It's crazy. OK. 
Okay, guys, I'm, just, I'm peeling this out so you can see this process. Um, normally, I just kind of whip right through it. And this is the stomach right in here. So you're not going to want to cut into here. So when you get to that fillet part, you're going to cut that out. Okay, and you're good to go right along that edge. And that's your fillet. It's We've done this before. This is so clean, you can see through. If I had the light behind it, watch this. You can see how clean it is through there. Oh my gosh, you can, it's like a little lantern. <laughs> so here's our fillet, right? Just push, let your knife do the work. This I love this knife because it's so flexible that it just goes right through. There's your fillet. Done. Your paper the only thing you're gonna have to do is cut out these pin bones right here. There are your paper towels. Thank you. Need. Those pin bones right there. And you can tell when you hit them or don't hit them because they won't. They stop. So those are your pin bones. We That's... make cat food out of that. Yeah. So there's your little fillet. Nice thick fillet. You could actually. It would... Rib, like it's a rib, actually pattern of ribs. Yeah. There's your two fillets, guys, right there. All right, guys. So that is how you fillet it to dog, right? Yeah. So it's not a hard process. You just need to get out there and honestly catch fish, fillet them, practice. Welcome back to our kitchen. What are we cooking tonight? Uh, we're cooking uh talk. Tog. We just caught some tog this weekend, him and I. So we're gonna go ahead and cook that up for you guys so we have the catch. The queen, which I did and I showed you just a second ago. And now we're gonna do the cook. So here's what we're starting with today. So we're starting with our... What's in our uh, so rub? Our rub, so we have garlic powder. Yep. Check. Sea, sea salt. Check. Old Bay. Check. One one thing, guys. You always need a bit of Old Bay in seafood. It always makes seafood taste better. There you go. Uh, hey, that's, that's a pro tip right there. Right there. Pro tip. Everglades seasoning. Little Everglades. Regular. Black pepper. Pepper. And, and this and is not. cornmeal and flour. So we're just using <laughs> cornmeal and flour. <laughs> We have our two fillets right there. And then we also have <laughs> our milk with a bit of lemon juice. We're gonna dredge our fish in our milk and lemon mixtures. A little bit of lemon juice in that as well. And then we're gonna drop it in our flour into our fryer. Guys. And tonight we're using Berio grapeseed oil. Check it out, yeah, yeah. Guys, we didn't squeeze it orange because it's a lot harder that way more hard that way so we just used one of um, the lemon juice lemon. it would be very hard to squeeze an orange and get lemon juice out of it <laughs> caught you tell them good so we're using the lemon juice out of the thing you can't the, uh, whatever it's called that's right so we need to let them know that we we're using lemon juice not orange juice yeah, we're yes using lemon juice. check dad all right so you're gonna take that filet yeah and you're gonna dip it, throw it in your milk. Get it nice. Everything doesn't have to be messy, bro. Come on. Okay, there we go. Give it a good dredge, right? And then you go ahead and put it in your. Here's some big pieces of meat. This was a big fish, though. It was like. The glorious Tatog. He was a 19 inch. That was a 19 inch Tog right there. Very nice fillet. Could have used a bigger bowl, but we didn't. That's pretty good. What do you think? Got a good coating on it? There we go. All right, now you know how to set it in there from one end to the other, lay it down in there. Yep, hold it to tip, just lay it on this side, lay it down towards the other side. Good, and there you go, it's fine. Okay, do the other one quick. Looks good, drop it in there, same way. Good. There you go. We're gonna give that till it's golden brown, and then bring them off, and we should be good to go. Great job, bud. Yeah. What do you guys say? That's Anything? gonna be good fish. It's gonna be good fish. Yeah. So what are we gonna do with those fish? The fillets are like that thick. 
They are. Because it was like a 19 inch tog. That was a nice tog. Did I get that one or did you get that one? Dad. Yes, daddy. Score one for daddy. The boys always outfish me, so it's good that I finally got a keeper. <laughs> what are we going to make with these? Tacos. Tacos? Are you going to do hard tacos or soft? Uh, we're doing hard, hard tacos. We're going to change. Brooks and I are going to do hint of lime, oh, wait, that's lime. El Paso tacos. Guys, the lime tacos, these lime tacos are so good. Yeah. Daddy, then we're also going to do La Banderita. Flour tortillas for winter. <laughs> hey, winter. I need some my On our tacos, hard or soft, we add coleslaw. Now, this coleslaw only has cabbage, carrots, and the red cabbage. So it's a stiffer coleslaw. It's not wet. It's a dry ingredient. Adds a nice little crunch to your taco. And guys, also, guys, we have our Asian salad. Oh, let me see that bag. All right, Asian salad. That's right. This adds a great little zing, right? And then Where's my tongs? Yes, got it one line. See? Trick right there. You gotta grab no, it long one. Right. Golden brown. Ooh, look at these golden crunchies. Oh, Daddy, this thing. Look it. how white that meat is. I need to put more. I should have put more stuff over there. Nah, it's alright. That looks good, though, bro. <laughs> it's hard to be perfect cooking, you know, and you're feeling this out. You're having a good time. The kids are, kids are learning how to cook. Teach you your kids how to cook, man. It is so satisfying to see these little dudes want to cook and uh, you know cut their fish up cut things up and uh, you know learn as as, <laughs> as we go along as they go along guys um safety tip this oil when it gets really hot it pops so it the oil can come flying out of the pan and burn you it's happened to me about 26 million times and when water hits oil it, the oil pops up and blows up Pretty much. If it hits you, it's looking to burn you. It's going to hurt. Delish. All the way. There you go. Guys, now we're going to put in our dressing for the um, ensalada. Yeah, ensalada. Salad. Oh, yes! Hey, Chase. Nice and light. There you go. Good job. To put on our tacos, we have our um, coleslaw. coleslaw. We have our avocados, uh, cilantro salad dressing. We have jalapenos, jalapeno peppers. Mild cheddar cheese. You don't know what this is. This is a special sauce we do here at the Rene Boy's house. This is ranch sriracha mix. And then we have a um, Chesapeake sauce. It's like an Old Bay mayonnaise based sauce. And then of course hot sauce. We use for our hot sauce and put these tacos in. Hold on. Three twenty-five, five minutes. For our taco sauce, we use Trader Joe's spicy taco. Spicy taco, who doesn't love a spicy taco? We're gonna do soft tacos too. So the soft tacos have to be put in the toaster oven as well. I'm gonna warm those up, a little butter on them. Winter, winter will crush those soft tacos. I usually crush soft tacos too, but we only have two. We thought we had a little more, so I'll do hard. Whatever. That's how we roll. You guys know we shoot it to you straight, man. We don't have all our ingredients. We messed up. We didn't buy it at the store. Sorry, my bad. Didn't buy enough soft tacos. Whatever. Or cheese. Or cheese. A little low on the cheese, but that's okay. Really, do we need more cheese in our diet? I don't think so. So whatever. And as you know, we always use the finest of China here. Fine China. Fine China. Pro tip. Less dishes with paper products. It's the best pro tip of all time, guys. Come on. And girls, let's be real. Who wants to eat off a hard plate anyways? What are we gonna do? Make a fish taco. Nice. So guys, we're gonna make our fish taco. First we start with our shell. Our lime shell. Ooh. I'm gonna have two. So. Then we go on to our fish. Ha. Dude, that is a huge peach of fish. 
Holy moly. Dorky. Dorky. Just spread that out on there. So now we got our avocado. Nice. Now I'm gonna do my coleslaw. Now I'm gonna go into my mild cheddar cheese. You want tomatoes? Oh, I forgot them. I gotta get here. Go get tomatoes. Oh, good boy. Found them. So we got them mild. They're mild. Mild pica de gallo. That's what happens when you have a boy who's growing. He's eight years old. He eats like four quarter pound cheeseburgers in a sitting. That cool. looks good. That's a good looking set of tacos right there. You excited? There we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for showing us how to make the perfect taco. Such a tog taco. So Brooks has got the best taco, ta ta tog tacos on his plate, and I think he has the worst to tog taco on his plate ever. That's the worst taco ever I've seen of anything. What happened to your taco? I like the plain too. <laughs> he wanted nacho chips. All right, y'all. So that is gonna do it for our catch, clean, and cook tonight. Uh, you saw all three stages. We went out, we caught the fish. We brought it home, we cleaned that bad boy up, and then we cooked some awesome fish tacos. Thanks for Brooks, because he did a great job cooking tonight. He's learning so much. And uh, guys, we appreciate you watching. Appreciate you following along. See you on the next video.